In this video, we're going to continue our work with probability and look at using the formulae to solve problems. The first formula we're going to look at is the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. We looked at the probability of A union B and the probability of A intersection B in the last video. So if I just draw up a Venn diagram, we've got two events, A and B, and we've got the sample space. If I wanted to represent A union B, that is both ellipses. So if I put that on, this gives us A union B. It's saying it's either A or B or both. If I wanted to represent on here now the intersection, A intersection B, that is both A and B. So that is that part right here. So let's see why we do this. If we consider now the particular example we looked at in the last video, we looked at rolling a six-sided dice, a fair six-sided dice. So if I just put this on, we knew that the outcomes are one, two, three, four, five, and six, and each were equally likely. I'm going to define two different events. Event A is going to be rolling an even number. Event B, so even number, event B is going to be rolling a square number. So let's consider where these numbers go in. Is one even? No, it's not. Is it square? Yes, it is. So one would go here. Two is even, but it's not square, so it goes just here. 3 is neither even nor is it square, so it would go on the outside. 4 is both even and square, it would go in the middle. 5 is neither even nor is it square, it would go on the outside. And 6 is an even number, but it's not a square number. Let's look at assigning probabilities here. These now are equally likely outcomes. I'm going to leave this with a denominator of 6, and we can say the probability now of just A is 2 over 6. The intersection is 1 over 6, just B is 1 over 6, and on the outside we've got 2 over 6. All probabilities sum to 1, and that's one of the things that we looked at in the last video. So let's have a look at the problem here. If I looked now at the probability of A, so if I looked at the probability of A, we can see the probability of A is going to give me 3 over 6. The reason it's going to give me 3 over 6 a are the even numbers, which are 2, 4 and 6. The probability of B we can see is going to be 2 over 6, because on here the square numbers are going to be 1 and 4. Let's just think about this. If I added these together, we would get 5 over 6. But hang on a moment, we still got 3 and 5. So we could say the probability that they were not either A and or B is going to give us now 2 over 6. Let's just look at that. 3 over 6, 2 over 6 and 2 over 6 give us 7 over 6. All probabilities must be equal to 1 and the reason we got 7 over 6 is because we've counted the intersection twice. Therefore, when we're working out the probability of A and or B, we need to subtract away the intersection and that's exactly what I've done. So we can see if I subtracted away one lot of the intersection we'd have one six which would disappear and that would give us six over six. So when we're looking to find the probability of A and or B we find the probability of A plus the probability of B and subtract from it the probability of A intersection B. We can of course rearrange this and we can write the probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A union B. A union B is just A and or B. So you can manipulate the formulae, um, you can write them like so. Let's just look uh, quickly at independent, uh, sorry, mutually exclusive events. We can say for mutually exclusive events, the probability of A and or B is simply going to be the probability of A plus the probability of B, as we don't have an intersection, so we don't need to subtract it. If I drew a Venn diagram, let's go ahead and draw a Venn diagram for this. Uh, we'll put it like so, we'll have another one of those. So with my Venn diagram, I might have something that looks like that. 
So we can see there's no intersection here. So this could be event A. Let's put event A on here. So this is event A and this is event B. We don't need to subtract an intersection as there isn't one. So let's go ahead and solve a few problems. One other thing we just have to be happy with, the probability of it not being A, and we write that as A dash, is the probability, or I should say, 1 minus the probability of it being A. We looked at that in a previous video, and it is an important outcome. So that is another rule that we're going to use. When solving these problems, I like to use a combination of the Venn diagrams and the formulae. I don't think we always need the formulae. I think the Venn diagrams can be a good representation to solve these problems. So if we look at the first question, we're told A and B are two events. Probability of A is 0 0.5, probability of B is 0 0.2, and the probability of A intersection B is 0 0.1. We need to find the following. Now straight off, I could go ahead and work out the first one. I could simply use the formula. So if we did that, we could say the probability of A and or B will be equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. So all we're going to do is the 0 0.5, we're going to add to that the 0 0.2 and we're going to subtract from that the 0 0.1. We can see that this is going to give us 0 0.6. All I've done is added this one, this one, and subtracted this one. Alternatively, using a Venn diagram, we've got A, B, and the sample space. We know the intersection is 0 0.1. If the probability of A is 0 0.5, we must say that, that is 0 0.4. Remember, all of this is A. These give us 0 0.5. Probability of B only is 0 0.1, as we got now 0 0.2 in total. I've got 0 0.6, so on the outside, 1 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.4. So if we wanted to do it this way, the probability of A and or B is simply all of these here. And we can see that that is going to give us the 0 0.6. So on the next one, the probability of it not being B, the probability of it not being B, well, we can see that from the question. It's going to be 1 minus 0 0.2, which is 0 0.8. Alternatively, if you like, you can look at the Venn diagram. It's going to be this one plus this one. All of these are in B. The probability now of A not and not B. What we can do is look at this from the Venn diagram. It's in A, but it's not in B. So that's going to give me 0 0.4. If we look at the next one, the probability of A union not B. We saw in a previous video that this shades everything out, but just the part B only. So all we're left with now is this part right here unshaded. So we could say now the probability of A and or not B is going to be, so A and or not B is going to be equal to 0 0.9. Let's say we didn't spot that and let's say we went to use the formula instead. The probability of A and or not B will be equal to the probability of A plus the probability of not B minus the probability of A intersection not B. All of these values we've either been given in the question or we found earlier. 0 0.5 plus the 0 0.8 minus now the last one that we've just found and that is the intersection. So A and B not which is going to give us the 0 0.4. So we found these in previous parts and we can simply go ahead and show now that that is going to give us the 0 0.9 as we expected. So you can see, using a combination of the two, I've taken these values, I've used a Venn diagram to solve. It's entirely up to you. I like a combination of the two. Okay, let's look at the next one. There are two events, T and Q, where the probability of T is equal to the probability of Q, which is equal to three times the probability of T intersection Q, and the probability of T union Q is equal to 0 0.75. We need to find the following. Again, we can use formulae. I'm going to take a different approach though. First thing I can certainly do is put on the outside the probability of T union Q is 0 0.75. So I'm going to put that this one is going to be T, this one is going to be Q, and this is going to be the sample space. This is 0 0.25. So we know now the union is 0 0.75. These two are equal, and they're three times more likely to happen now 
than the probability of the intersection. Lots of different approaches with this. I'm going to call this probability x. Therefore, the probability is of t is 3x, so that will be 2x. The prob probability of q is going to be 3x, so this is going to be 2x. We can see now that 2x must be equal to the 0 0.75, so divide it by the 5x, my apologies, must be equal to 0 0.75, so x is 0 0.15. So if we put these probabilities on, 0 0.15, 0 point, uh, sorry, 0 0.15 times by 2, which will give me 0 0.3. Let's get that on there correctly. That's two lots of x. So we'll have now the 0 point, uh, 0 0.3, so 0 0.3, 0 0.15, 0 0.3, and then we've got our 0 0.25 outside. So we can see all of these now will add up to give 1. And that's one approach. Okay, so the probability of t intersection Q. So we can see now the probability of it being both T and Q is simply 0 0.15. The probability now of it being at T, we can see that that is going to be 0 0.45. Common error is to say 0 0.3. 0 0.45. The probability of it not being Q, so the probability of Q not, is 1 minus the probability of it being Q. So that's going to be 0 0.45. 0.55. The probability of it not being t, so t not and q not, so it's in neither of these, well that's going to be on the outside and that gives me 0 point, uh, 0 0.25, so 1 minus 0 0.75. The probability of it being t but not q, well that's just going to be this part right here, so we can say the probability of it being t and not q is going to be 0 0.3. So with this, I've used a Venn diagram instead of getting into the uh, particular formulae. We can, of course, use a formulae. It's entirely up to us. So some problems will lend themselves to the formulae. Some will just lend themselves to a Venn diagram. In this one, we're told the probability that a child in a school has blue eyes is 0 0.27 and the probability they have blonde hair is 0 0.35. The probability that a child will have blonde hair or blue eyes or both is 0 0.45. A child is chosen at random from the school. Find the probability that the child has A, blonde hair and blue eyes, B, blonde hair but not blue eyes, C, neither feature. So let's define some events. Let's just look at the events. What I'm going to say now on here is A, and we could just put, in fact, we'll do E. E is going to be eyes. And E is going to be the colour of their eyes. And then we're going to have H is going to be the colour of their hair. So these are two events from here. So we can say the probability of E, and let's just put eyes. So this will be eyes. And this is going to be hair. So if we look now at the probability of E, we're given that just here. So the probability of hair blue eyes is 0 0.27. The probability now of blonde hair, the reason I've not chosen B and B is it would uh, blonde eye, uh, blue eyes, blonde hair. I'm just saying it, uh, eyes and hair. So 0 0.35. The probability that the child will have blonde hair or blue eyes or both is 0 0.45. So the probability of E union H is going to be equal to the 0 0.45. So let me put these on here. Here's our Venn diagram. Here is E, here is H, here is the sample space. So if we wanted, what we could do from this is fill out now the, pro the uh, Venn diagram with the probabilities. So straight off, if this is 0 0.45, then this one outside must be 0 0.55. So how can we do this? Well, one way we can say now the probability of E union H will be equal to the probability of E plus the probability of H, and then we're going to have minus the probability of E intersection H. That's going to allow me to find this value right here. So as we saw, we could rearrange this. So we've got 0 0.45. I'm not going to rearrange it, but you could do. All we would say is the probability of E intersection H, probability of E plus the probability of H, minus the probability of E union H. So we've got 0 0.27 plus now 0 0.35 minus this value of the probability of E. And then we've got intersection H. So what's that going to give us? The probability of E 
intersection H, that's going to give me 0.62 minus the 0.45, which is going to give me 0.17. Let's just check that's right, 0 0.17. So all I've done is added these 0.62, subtracted that, and that will go in the middle, 0 0.17. If we now look at E, we've got 0 0.1, as all of this must be equal to 0 0.27, and H is going to be 0 0.18, as all of this must be equal to 0 0.35. So if we look at this now, the probability of blonde hair and blue eyes, well, we want the intersection, and that is going to be 0 0.17. If we look at the next one, blonde hair but not blue eyes, well, that's going to be this part right here, which is going to be the 0 0.18. If we look at neither feature, that is on the outside, and that is going to be the 0 0.55. So we can see with that one, I've used both the Venn diagram and the rules or laws to go ahead and find those. So your pick, you decide which you prefer to do, simply employ them, and then go ahead and check that your answers are pretty sensible.